Hey everyone, I'm Brugly, and today I'm going to be talking about three sub-levels of Backrooms Level 2 that I promise you, you did not know existed at all. Thank you for all your love on the sub-level series. I love doing them. They're very interesting, and I'm glad that you enjoy watching them. Anyways, let's see how crazy Level 2 can get, shall we? So the normal level two is just a huge expanse of dark, gray, concrete maintenance tunnels. The tunnels have pipes in the walls and they typically are claustrophobic and hot and there's loud sounds happening around you. But you probably already knew that because you're a Backrooms Pro if you're watching me. But I guarantee that you didn't know that if you wander deep enough into the tunnels, you can find an entrance to sub-level 2.1. So sublevel 2.1, or the Steampunk Corridor, as it's been nicknamed, are classified as a Class 5 rating, and is unsafe, unstable, and just overall not very fun. The main level 2 is way safer than level 2.1, and it's a Class 2. This one's a Class 5, so it's way worse. You must have really bad luck if you get sent here. Anyways, level 2.1 looks like a huge corridor that's very industrialized and machinified. There are appliances and pipes and wheels and steam and everything like that. Everything you'd expect to see in a steampunk area here. There's also machine noises and vibrations and loud noises and that kind of thing. And it'll just feel like you're walking through an engine room of sorts. But none of that matters because the real problem with this sublevel is the dangerous creatures that live in it. Things like skin stealers are a very common sight, which is obviously bad because you don't want to get your skin eaten. There's also smilers here too. Some of the corridors in this sublevel are very difficult to traverse and get out of because they're like a maze of sorts, like a puzzle. And if you're like me, that would be terrible because I am awful at puzzles. But it would be pretty easy to get trapped in this sublevel because it's like a, it's like a big maze, you know? Level 2.1 was originally discovered on Christmas Eve of 2015 when a random wanderer found it, and actually they originally thought it was just a big safe hallway with no entities until they were stuck there for a long while and they realized there were entities and loud noises and weird sounds and yeah, they saw stuff. And then all the lights went off and that dude was never seen from again, so. Now there's also been some very strange encounters with non-documented entities in sub-level 2.1. We don't know much about them, but the original person who got sent here was attacked by something that they probably didn't know what it was. So that's pretty terrifying to think about. The entities that are 100% documented to be here are skin stealers, smilers, face leans, and insanities. So pretty much the more dangerous main backrooms entities. And they do mainly come out of the dimly lit areas. So if you do come here, just avoid the areas with less light and you'll be pretty good. The sublevel actually has several entrances that are not from its main level, which is unusual because as most sublevels, you can only get to them from the main level. But for level 2.1, there's been entrances from level 0 all the way to level 8. So yeah. But to exit, you'll need to find a window that shows the fields of level 10. The wheat fields you all know and love. And once you see that, jump through it, and you'll be sent there. This one's not too bad, it's just pretty dangerous if you get stuck there for long enough. And if you don't like loud noises and machinery, then you won't like this level. The next sublevel of level 2 has been nicknamed level 2.6, or the wooden tunnels, and it's been classified as a class 2, just like the main level area, and is unsafe, but it's still stable with a small entity count. This sublevel consists of an infinite expanse of old wooden tunnels that sprawl out in every direction, which you'll know you're being sent here when you start walking into wooden halls instead of the concrete ones from the main level 2. The level looks like an abandoned coal mine, and it has some pretty random rooms dotted along its halls as well. These rooms are large concrete boxes and are pretty weird and claustrophobic and damp, but what do you expect? It's literally just a big mine. The only light source that are in these mines are light bulbs that are strung on top of the wooden beams, and they emit this really weird buzzing sound, which is very similar to level zero's buzzing sound, except here it's in way tighter quarters and you feel very claustrophobic and gross. Some parts of the level have less light than others, and it's in those dark spots where the ground is more crumbly and there's more entities and there's sometimes water and decaying materials from above, it's where it gets more dangerous. You know the drill, just avoid the shadows. There are also sometimes huge 
chasms that open up and connect to other tunnels. But between the two tunnels will be massive ravines and things like that. And whatever you do, don't fall into a ravine because who knows what's down there at the bottom. I mean, it could be a giant monster or giant... Who knows? We don't know. It's terrifying to think about. Now, this sublevel also has a few very unique anomalies that happen to it as well. The main one is the sound of distant machinery noises like mining equipment and electrical equipment. Even though the mine is obviously abandoned, you can kind of faintly hear noises still. Then there are those weird concrete rooms that I mentioned earlier. They can have basic amenities like like beds and sinks and food and water and even kitchens sometimes, but it's just weird that they exist here. Like, why would concrete boxes be in a wooden mine in level two of the back rooms? Then there are also some random mine carts that you can use to travel around the level. You better hope though that the railings don't run off into a ravine or they don't go into like a bone thief den because then it will be literally over for you. And the last anomaly is that you might run into some flooded mines. And these sections are really gross and dirty and they can be very dangerous because the floor could cave in or the ceiling could cave in on top of you so just watch out where you're going and try not to wander too deep into it but yeah this sub level is accessed by finding a door in the main part of level two that says underground coal mine and then going through that door and you'll be sent here to the mine the door appears at random so you'll be lucky to find it if you find it to exit this sub level you actually have a chance by falling off a bridge over a ravine to be sent to level 999 maybe we think we don't actually know like i said i wouldn't risk it but it might be worth it jumping from level 2 to level 999 i mean that's literally skipping the entire back rooms so if you want to risk jumping into the dark scary ravine where we don't know what's at the bottom be my guest i'm not doing it though The last sublevel for today is a very strange one that really isn't that big. It's more of an anomaly with the main part of level 2 and less of a real sublevel, but this sublevel is sublevel 2.4, and it happens when sometimes the regular old industrial hallways of level 2 will start to transition into these complex hallways of brick. These hallways will have industrial lighting and weird gates and sound and electrical outlets, and they'll all be separated and chunked up very weirdly. There's also a bunch of random metal doors in the halls in these areas and if you open the door you'll just be led to more concrete halls and more metal rooms so it's kind of like an infinite maze in a way some of the rooms and hallways have supplies in them and some don't kind of just depends on your luck but yeah level 2.4 are just these random metal doors that lead to more concrete halls nothing too special but it's still a sub level and this is a sub level video so yeah that was it for the three sub levels today i hope you enjoyed them i think the scariest one in my opinion is that first one in sub level 2.1 the fact that you can just randomly walk down level two and end up in this huge like steampunk type corridor with entities that hide in the corridors and dark that's pretty terrifying to me i don't know about you guys but let me know in the comments which one you thought was the scariest Thank you all so much for your support on the channel, on the videos and shorts. I love and appreciate all of you. Uh, make sure to go check out my vlog channel if you want to see me travel and explore and, and talk and just vibe out. Having a fun time with videos over there. Thank you so much for everything. Like I said at the beginning, we are on the road to 1 million subscribers on Brugly. When I hit a million, it's going to be insane. I'm, I'm so grateful for all you do and your support. Thank you so much. At a million subscribers, I'm going to be flying to the level 188 hotel in real life. And you guys will get to go along with me. And the video will be amazing and legendary. And and I'll be the first Backrooms YouTuber that does just Backrooms videos to get to a million subs. So that's going to be awesome. Looking forward to it. I love and appreciate all of you. Thank you so much. And I will see you in the next video.